lads, Devin from Bogey Wheels here. I'm in the garage doing some work on the Rev and I've got my skis pulled off here. These are the precision skis that come with the 2005 MXZs and today I'm going to talk to you why it's important to shim your skis. Uh, what are you shimming exactly? How does it help and how do you know if you need to shim your skis? So I've got one ski here that I've already done some work on. I'm, I'm actually pretty much done working on it. I put new carbides on it and I installed a special uh, center carbide. If you look at that, there you go. That centered carbide is, uh, they, they didn't come with the centered carbide, these uh, skis stock. There's two on the outside, two smaller ones. Uh, this will give me more turnability, let's call it turnability, in uh, deeper snow because it's more of a centered keel, more to push. And uh, I noticed last time I was at a Kelly's farm, I'd be turning and kind of going straight and pushing through the snow, and that's one of the big flaws of these skis. But another thing we'll get into is ski shimming. Now I'll show you right away what I've done to shim my ski. Here's the boot that your uh, your arm sits in and underneath that boot I've just taken a wood screw and put a uh, 3 16 piece of rubber. Now this piece of rubber specifically came from uh, the insulating rubber around a, uh, a welding wire. It just happened to be the perfect 3 16 that I was looking for and you put that, you, uh, you screw it with a nice flathead screw to the very back of your boot. There you go, and you put it into the shoe, and it, what it does is it, it uh, lifts the back end of your boot up a little bit more, and that gives you more pressure when, it's sit, when your sled is sitting on there, sitting on there uh, more pressure on the back of your ski, and that uh, wears your carbides a little more evenly. So you've got my brand new carbides on there, I re really hope that my center carbide is straight, although it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty straight. I'd like to do a video on uh, putting in the center carbide once I can, but first I gotta get my, uh, my furnace fixed in my garage. It's nice and cold in here. So I'll show you why I needed to do that and why I knew for sure I needed to do that. Here's my other ski. Um, haven't done any work on this yet. Here's the, uh, the rubber boot and those in there. Nothing attached to it yet. And let me show you the bottom of this. Um, this is the front side. And look at that. Look at the, uh, the carbides and the wear rods. They're just mangled. There's, there's almost nothing left of the front of this one here. And so what that means, what that tells me is that uh, putting too much pressure on the front of my ski, that's uh, the way it's sitting. So look at that, there's the front of it. The wear rod is almost down to nothing. Uh, a couple of the carbides have been chewed right off. And you trace the carbide down like this and it gets pr gradually sharper and it's almost like it's not touching at all in the back here. Here's the back of my ski this way. And there's plenty of wear rod left, front, back. So right away I know that I'm putting too much pressure on the front of my skis. So shimming your skis is the way to fix that. There we go. Shimming your skis is guarantees that you're putting, yeah, it tips the front end of your ski up a little more and you're gliding over your carbides a little more evenly. So now I'll show you what I did and how to do it. I've got my boot here from the one that I haven't shimmed yet. And I've got an extra piece of uh, the 316 insulating rubber that I uh, took off the welding wire. Just going to stick that to the back of there, put a screw in it, make sure it's nice and flush. So I'm just using a, whoa, <laughs> I'm just dropping a uh, three quarter inch long wood screw, flat head so it's nice and flush, Robertson, coarse enough grip so it'll uh, dig into the rubber. And what side did I choose? Here's my piece of shim. Hold that down, make sure it's good and flush. There you go. Isn't that beautiful, eh? 
So that'll give a little extra pressure on the back of my ski. So the next time I put my carbides on, I'm not going to have to worry about just busting out the front of them. Also, it gives you a little more flotation. Uh, angle, the angle of your ski helps with turning. Um, from what I've read, it says it makes turning a lot easier since you're not digging and you're not fighting with your uh, handlebars. So, once you've got it, remember it goes in the back. Drop it back in there. Congratulations. You just shimmed a ski. How easy was that? That's it. You're done. Go enjoy your sled now. You should notice that your steering turns a lot easier, you uh, float up on snow a little bit better, and that your carbides are wearing out a lot smoother. Thanks for watching Bogey Wheels. You're watching Bogey Wheels! So I just took the carbide out of that ski I was showing you guys. Look how worn out that is! Right in the middle there. There's almost nothing left. I bet you I can... Uh, Yep. <laughs> There's my carbide. Jeez. Not a minute too soon, eh? <laughs> Do not let your carbides get this bad. Or your wear rods.